Hello, hello! I'm glad that you clicked on this video. Probably it's because you are interested what is ESC abbreviation standing for, or maybe you already know and you want to take part in the European Solidarity Corps, or maybe you're just looking for some opportunities to volunteer abroad. And in any of these cases, this video is the very right thing to watch because here we will talk about all of this. And of course, I will try to explain you as much as I can about all the details. Um, first of all, my name is Tanya. I'm Ukrainian. I'm 24 years old and actually now I'm the ESC volunteer in the organization Mladin for Slovensko. So I'm working slash volunteering in a Bratislava office and my main task is uh, to promote mobilities among young people in Slovakia, to explain them uh, mobilities, uh, their opportunities to volunteer and so on. Uh, additionally, uh, we are leaving you some links and materials in the description to this video so you can always watch them, check them, download them and we are hoping that it will be super helpful for you. So, we are ready to start from the scratch. What is actually ESC? Uh, this abbreviation is standing for the European Solidarity Corp. And this is one of the programs which was established by the Euro European Union and it is funded by the EU. That's why you as the EU citizen can uh, fully participate in this program totally for free. Um, also, if you are from the partner country, you are also very lucky because you are eligible to be a volunteer in one of the EU countries. Uh, actually, originally this program was established in the frame of the Erasmus Plus program, however, now it grew up and now it's a separate program. That's why EVAS changed uh, the abbreviation and currently the correct name is the ESC. The next step we will talk with you about is the things you should pay attention before applying. First of all, uh, you should be careful with the age limits because you are eligible to any of the programs if you are uh, at least 18 years old till you are 30 years old. Um, if you are in this age, let's say, congratulations, you should be uh, you should keep watching this video because this opportunity is exactly for you. Uh, also, I would like to mention that it's not necessarily uh, obligatory, let's say, to be a student. Even if you graduated, if you, even if you graduated a few years ago, it's totally okay. The only thing which matters is your age. Uh, the next thing you should know about is that the duration of the program is from the 2 months till 12 months and uh, they are divided in two categories. All the projects are divided in two categories, short-term projects and long-term programs. Um, short terms, it's the volunteering up to two months and uh, the long-term uh, projects are the one which, whose, which duration is from 2 till 12 months. Also, be careful that you can participate in the long-term project, unfortunately, only once in your life. Um, so, uh, we usually advise people to take part before in the short volunteering, up to two months, and then to um, benefit and to use uh, the months which are left for the long-term volunteering. However, if you want to go directly on the long-term project because you found a very cool one and you are really motivated to take part in it, um, go for it, apply and go. Also, uh, the thing which we will cover a bit later, but also it's important to mention it now, that all the finances are covered, so you will have the support for your traveling to the country you are volunteering in, as well as the cost for your food, pocket money and public transportation. The next step actually everyone is interested in is the topic of the projects, like what am I gonna do there, how I can uh, professionalize myself and so on. Uh, actually, there is a huge variety of the topics of the projects. Uh, you can see kind of all of them now on the screen, but it's not just these topics. Uh, what we actually recommend is just to choose few topics which you're really, really interested in and to precisely look for something like this. Um, of course, sometimes you just want to go to the, your favorite country or to the country you're learning language, uh, which language you're learning, but also pay attention that 
you will have to volunteer for quite a long time in the organization which is dealing with one of these topics. So if you don't feel like, for example, teaching kids, please don't go teaching kids because uh, it wouldn't be fair, it would feel and the organization would see that you are not really motivated to do your job. Which steps would be next? Um, now we were trying uh, to very shortly describe which your steps are. First one, of course, is to realize what you want to do for how long you want to do and what would be your favorite destination, like preferable destination, let's say. And uh, the next one is to use the proper channels in order to find the project of your dream. Of course, we are recommending you to use either the official website for the searching the project or also you can use our channels and our social media. Uh, the links will be below in the description um, you can check them and just choose whatever you like. Of course, you should apply for the project and then you probably will have something like an interview. Um, also, if you are interested in uh, how to manage your motivation letter, which is commonly asked from the organizations, you can check our video about motivation letters. And the last one, if you know that you are successfully selected for, for the volunteering in the organization, you will have a contract and you should arrive to the country. Also, the question usually is who will take care of me when I'm abroad? We fully understand that sometimes it's scary to go abroad for a long period of time to people you don't know, but we can assure you that you are totally safe. You will for sure have a contract you are dealing with, but also you will have some institutions which will be able to help you with all matters or issues you have on your way. Uh, first one is the sending organization. The contract is actually signed by your sending organization, which is responsible for you as well. So you can always refer to their coordinators and to ask them anything you're interested in. Um, Ladin for Slovensko is actually a, a sending organization. So usually we are dealing with the volunteers. So we are sending Slovak youth uh, to other countries to be volunteers. In order, if you found uh, an interesting opportunity for you on the official website and you need a sending organization to deal with the contract, don't hesitate to contact us. We'll be happy and glad to help you. And the second part, of course, will be uh, your hosting organization. Uh, it's actually the organization where you're volunteering. There are a lot of coordinators, mentors, your volunteers, colleagues who will be super glad to help you. Um, also, don't forget that there is the national agency of Erasmus Plus program in every country. You will have some specific trainings, how to make your volunteering experience as perfect as it's possible what is covered. Of course, it's one of the most popular questions as well. Uh, we want to mention that you shouldn't pay anything before going on volunteering, so you're not paying us any fees or while you're searching the project. Uh, everything is totally for free. One, once you are accepted to go on volunteering, in the contract it will be mentioned the sum you will get every month. Um, also, the EU fund is covering your traveling expenses both ways. And as I mentioned before, the organization in one of the suitable ways will cover your food, accommodation, pocket money, insurance, uh, public transportation and language courses. So if you are interested and you feel that you are ready to find the project for you, we would recommend you some channels where you can find the perfect one. Um, first of all, of course, it's the official website of the ESC program. Uh, you can uh, filter their projects according to the topic or to the country you want to go in or for the duration you are interested in. As well, you are super welcome to use our channels. You can find Vladin for Slovensko in Facebook, Instagram or even LinkedIn. Uh, so um, as well, we have a website where you can find all the opportunities which are available currently. Um, also, if you have any questions, you can always contact our responsible coordinator, the contacts of who are also available in the description to this video. And the last but not least is what is actually Mladi Slovensko doing. As I said before, we are at the same time sending organization and hosting organization. It means that 
Um, we are hosting volunteers from the abroad, um, like me for example. We are working in uh, different topics, we are trying to contribute to the Slovak society, promoting different opportunities, organizing different events and activities. At the same time, Mladin for Slovensko is the sending organization, so we are helping Slovak young people to go abroad for volunteering because we are cooperating with a few very cool NGOs um, and you can go to very different countries and if you are interested you're welcome to visit our channels and the website and of course we are ready to support your ideas so if you have a cool idea you want to implement any projects or initiatives in the local society in the local community in Slovakia don't hesitate to approach us and we will be glad to help you with some information about Erasmus grants or use exchanges or how you can get some fundings from the European Union and the last very last thing I want to mention is that beside our usual social media channels which of course I will leave again in the description to this video you can always get in some Facebook groups which are run also by us you can always uh, contact our coordinators via email or calling them and of course we'll be glad to help you to go on volunteering see you <laughs>